Hi everyone, John Meyer here, also known as the AWS Blogger. I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to redirect one domain to another using AWS and DNS and an S3 bucket. The reason I want to show you this is because I recently had to do it. I have a website, the AWSBlogger.com, which you can see on my screen. I wanted, I created a new one and I registered the domain, JohnMeyer.com, and I want to redirect that to the AWS Blogger domain. Maybe I just want to start switching over and using my regular name. Maybe I want to be John Meyer, AKA the AWS blogger, whatever it is, I'm setting it up here with AWS, DNS, and S3. Let's get started. On my screen, you see that I have the AWS blogger domain up, do a quick refresh, and also I have an incognito browser up uh, for johnmeyer.com and did a quick refresh on there. Within the AWS console, I went over the Route 53. Within my domain here for JohnMeyer.com, I just have the default uh, NS and Statement Authority records up. I'm not going to make any changes just yet, but we will add two records. Now, the AWS Blogger, we will not be changing that domain at all. If you come over to S3, I created two buckets. One, JohnMeyer.com. The other, www.JohnMeyer.com. Let's go to the first one, JohnMeyer.com. Under Properties, I'm going to scroll all the way down to static web hosting. Click edit, enable, we're going to redirect, and I want to redirect this one to the AWS blogger.com. And I'll save the changes there. Now on the next one where it says www John Meyer is going to be www the AWS blogger. So under properties, we'll scroll down, we'll enable it, redirect, and go to www.the. All right. Now that we have these set up, let's come back to Route 53 and set up our two records. Within Route 53, underneath the John Meyer domain, we're gonna create two records. Let's create the first one, and then we'll create the second, and we'll come back. And it's gonna be the same steps, just a little changes. Click on Create Record. We'll do a simple routing. We'll define our record. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it go. I'm not gonna make any changes on that. Under here, we're gonna can choose our endpoint. And if you scroll down, you're just gonna see an alias to an S3 website endpoint. We'll choose US East one, and then select our John Meyer bucket that we created. And we won't evaluate the target at all because we don't wanna evaluate that it's healthy. And we defined our simple record and created a record. Successful. Now let's create our second record. It's going to be the same one, but we're going to do the dub dub dub. So dub dub dub. We'll leave this as it is. Come down to S3 website. Choose our region. Find our dub dub dub. Don't evaluate. And define. All right, now it's successful. Now, here's the true test. If everything's configured correctly, we should be able to go to theawsblogger.com, www.theawsblogger.com, but then also johnmeyer.com and www.johnmeyer.com, and it should all go to my main domain that's already configured and up and running. Let's do the, look at the, the main website, and then let's test out John Meyer. Main website, quick refresh. We didn't mess up any DNS changes. Coming over to our incognito, let's do a quick refresh. There you go. Comes right up and redirects back to the awsblogger.com or if we went to dub dub John Meyer, redirects back there. Well, that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed this awesome and quick tutorial on how to redirect your website from one domain to another domain using AWS S3 and DNS. Stay tuned next time.